Hi everybody, welcome to this short video revising intervals. Intervals are used throughout calculus and we're going to cover them now. In the diagram at the top of the screen, this is a diagram of a closed interval with the interval highlighted in green. The points A and B are the end points of the interval and the other points are interior points. The end points of an interval are called boundary points. A closed interval from A to B is all the points between A and B as well as the boundary points A and B. We write the closed interval from A to B as open square bracket A comma B close square bracket or, as a is less than or equal to x, x is less than or equal to b. In the diagram at the top of this screen, this is a diagram of an open interval, with the interval highlighted in green. The points a and b are the boundary points of the interval, and the other points are interior points. An open interval from a to b is all the points between A and B not including any boundary points. We write the open interval from A to B as open parenthesis A comma B close parenthesis or as A is less than X, X is less than B. Intervals are often used to define the domain and the range of a function. The domain of a function is the set of allowed inputs to the function. The range of a function is the set of allowed outputs from the function. For example, for the function f of x equals x cubed, defined on the closed interval from 0 to 3, the allowed inputs are values of x from 0 to 3, including the numbers 0 and 3. Uh, the range, or the allowed outputs of the function, will be numbers from 0 to 27, including the number 0 and the number 27. This has been a review of intervals, open interval and closed interval, and how the function, domain and range that can be defined using intervals. I hope that you find this material useful. Uh, if you'd like to see more content, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your time, and see you next video.